<laughs> Romans 12, 4. For just as we have many members in one body, I'm going to add a scripture to this. <laughs> just as we have many members in one body and all the members do not have the same function, so we, who are many, are one body in Christ. And listen to this. Individually, we are members of one another. Individually, we are members of one another. You know, some people, I think they don't feel like they belong because they, they they're not like Henry or Mary or John or like Bill or Chris or Danny or Paul or Eric. It's like, you get to be you. Come and be you. If you have a little evil in you, get rid of that. <laughs> well, I'm just being real. Like, we don't want that, but we want, we want all of you. If you're serious, be serious. If you're smart, be smart. If you're beautiful, be beautiful. It doesn't, it just matters that you bring you. That you bring you. Years ago, I, I, I was leading a prophetic team in Weirville and I put a guy over it, great guy, amazing guy. And I, before I left, I knew, I, was, I knew we were coming here about six months before we were coming. So I said to my friend, I want you to lead the prophetic teams. And he's like, great, great guy, really smart, been with me a long time, very prophetic guy. And about two months into it, I see him growing his hair in a ponytail. By the way, if you have a hair in a ponytail, I love it. Awesome man, woman, child, don't care. <laughs> and then he started bringing a staff and a beard. And, you know, I, and I'll be clear. I don't care about any of that stuff. It doesn't bother me. If you wear a staff and drive a, drive a sob, I do not care. <laughs> I do not care. If you're supposed to drive a sob, sob on. If you have a ponytail, have a ponytail. You want tattoos? I don't care. Unless it's not who you are. And about four months into it, I said to my friend, I'll call him Henry. Henry, what are you doing? So what do you mean? I said, the, the garb. <laughs> what is this? He said, well, I just really feel like I'm, you know, I'm, I'm really going to play the role of being the prophet. I'm like, no, no, you're not playing the role. I need you to be Henry. I, I appointed you because you're Henry. <laughs> when you get to heaven, God's not going to say, why aren't you Moses? <laughs> He's going to ask you, why aren't you Henry? Dude, cut your hair, ditch the stick. <laughs> you know what I mean? And get a Toyota. You know, just, <laughs> just be a nerd for Jesus and be prophetic because this looks stupid on you, dude. And you know what I'm saying, right? We all have people like, you know, it's like you're trying to act like somebody else. It's like, it's beautiful when that's you, but it looks stupid on, you're wearing somebody, you know, you were 80 years old, you get a tattoo. It's like, just don't do that. <laughs> Unless you get your grandkids. Anyway, why don't you stand? I'm out of time. You belong. You belong. You have a name. You have a purpose. You have a place only you can fill. You are a living stone. You, if you don't come, there's a hole in our wall. If you're supposed to be with us, there's a place in the wall for you. Amen? Put your hand on your heart. Lord, I just pray right now in Jesus' name, there would not be one lonely people mentioned among us. I mean, there would not be one lonely person in this church. Not one. Or in our network, there wouldn't be a single lonely person. Every single person, this would be miraculous. Every single person would feel loved, cared about, vulnerable. Come on. Authentic, courageous, and connected. In Jesus' name. Everybody said, so be it. God bless you.